I had a feeling uh, this season could be special for me. Last season, Keegan Murray wasn't in the Hawkeyes starting rotation. And when that season ended in last year's NCAA tournament, a flood of talent left the Hawkeyes, including CJ Frederick, Joe Wieskamp, and Luca Garza. Fran kind of just, he told me I, I have the green light this year. Murray had big shoes to fill and no time for a sophomore slump. This season has been the opposite of a slump. The Hawkeyes leading scorer is now a first team All Big Ten and first team All American, and he just broke the single season scoring record in their Big Ten tournament win over Rutgers. I feel like it's just a surreal experience. I feel like it's just a translation of the hard work I put in uh, in the off season uh, and just the hard work I put in um, in my whole life playing basketball. Uh, I just think it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, being in the right situation at Iowa too and just my teammates believing in me. Murray has become the go-to guy for the Hawkeyes and one of the household names in college basketball. Averaging nearly 24 points a game, making him the fourth highest scorer in all of college hoops. It was obviously a huge step uh, going from my freshman year, um, coming off the bench to being a leader on this team my sophomore season. But as the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. Keegan's been unreal. Luca Garza knows a thing or two about being the face of the program. <laughs> The NBA rookie and former Naismith College Player of the Year had his jersey retired in the rafters of Carver Hawkeye Arena, but his impact on this team started with conversations he had with Keegan last year. Having a spotlight on me um, lets the other guys on our team be themselves, um, and that's I learned a lot from Luca uh, with him having that spotlight last year, um, and just learning from him and how he handled it, um, and just taking a humble approach to all of that. Uh, just being myself. It's always kind of passed down, you know, Tyler Cook did that for me, uh, you know, when I was, you know, stepping up into that role and, you know, I tried to do the same for him and just, you know, remind him to be confident, be aggressive all the time because that's what the team needs and I, I think you've seen that him grow in that way this year. Luca now describes himself as a fan, watching every Hawkeye game he can. And he's watched this Hawkeye team soar to new heights. I'm so excited for what they're doing. They, they're, they didn't have many expectations this year and they're blowing them out of the water. It hasn't always been pretty this season. You have to get knocked down and get back up. Um, for our team, it's just learning from the experience. But experience is starting to pay off and the Hawkeyes are hitting their stride at just the right time. Winning five of their last six games and ripping off four straight wins to claim their first Big Ten championship since 2006. <laughs> Seasons come with big moments and big time players step up in big time moments. Murray was the leading scorer in each Big Ten tournament game for the Hawks and the work he's put in behind the scenes. The late nights, um, I love coming to the gym late nights. I love running the Carver stairs um, on my own time. Is about to play out on college basketball's biggest stage. I feel like this team's capable of uh, doing some real damage uh, in the big dance in March Madness. I think um, we've hit our stride right now. Um, it's just capitalizing on it, um, playing a whole, the whole 40 minutes every single day taking one game at a time, um, not looking ahead, and I think uh, we'll be off, we'll be just fine.